Welcome back to 100 Days of Nice. In this video, we will be talking about hope and the importance of hope being intentional. So that was my nurturing self-talk of the day. My hope is intentional. Many of us, and if you've been watching my videos, myself is included, have been having experiences of hopelessness because of all of the uh, loss and restrictions on our privileges and freedoms and um, sense of control. So I am intentionally building up my hope and allowing that to be a strong presence in my emotional experience today. So my hope is intentional. How did I allow and enforce that intentionality of hope? That's the I integrity practice. I updated my vision for the future, my desires for the future, I updated them because they needed to be informed by the present reality, yet again, because the present reality is changing so quickly nowadays, while, while, because this is a little ingredient I, I was missing up until now, informed that by the present while still being inspired by hope. So I'm taking into accountability the reality of now, and I will inform use that with hope. I still hope and believe that all of this can work out for my good, for the good of my loved ones, for the good of the greater collective. I believe that we can allow these atrocious things that are happening and that many people are experiencing and find a way to make it better in the future. So updating my vision for myself professionally, updating my desires for myself um, when it comes to the multiple roles I have. They're informed by the present, but they have also been infused with hope. And I, I have hope and desire for the future, that the future um, can be beautiful and it can be great moving forward from where we are right now. Um, so the C is going to be a compliment today, and I will say, and please receive it if this resonates with you, I love your resilient spirit, your resilience, your persistence, your commitment allows you to continue to move forward in a beautiful evolution. The E, emotional intelligence, I feel very hopeful. I am back to a place where I believe with every fiber of my being, the possibilities are endless. This can play out so many ways, and I feel strongly convicted to continue to allow myself to be in tune to this space of hopefulness and um, desire for a, a better and a um, beautiful future for me, my loved ones, and well as for you and just our greater human collective, because operating from that space will allow us to make decisions and move more towards that vision versus what I can admit. And um, I've also seen many of us kind of being frozen just by the shock of it all and just kind of, well, we'll see how this plays out or we'll see what this happens. That allows us to go down a more passive, slippery slope way and we are more likely to see things happen that we don't desire. If we allow ourselves to continue to operate from our convictions, from our desires, for things to work out for our good and the good of those we love and we care about and just the good of the greater collective, then we are going to allow that to manifest and to become more of a reality along the way. We could take a more proactive stance in that. So my hope is intentional and I encourage you to intentionally allow your hope to exist. Feed your hope, nurture your hope, Spend moments meditating and focusing on your hope because that is what so many of us need right now. 
So be nice to yourself. Allow that kindness to overflow into others. If any of my videos have been helpful to you, please take a moment to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.